good everyone my name is graphics today we want to solve a problem in limits where the problem goes like this it says lin x tends to pi over 2 cos x minus sine 2x all divided by cos x plus sine 2x now if you look at the sign x there it's an identity on its own. Recall, sin 2x can also be written as 2 sin x cos x. Now you'll be wondering, how did I get that? Now let me take you down the memory lane. You remember in your trigonometry, we have what is called compound angle. And your compound angle, we have what is called double angle. Now sin 2x is one of the double angle. Now, another way of writing sine 2x is by saying sine into bracket s plus x, right? If you expand that, you're going to be having sine x cos x plus cos x sine x. If you add 1 sine x cos s plus 1 sine x cos x, you're having what? 2 sine s cos s because this cos x sine x here can be written as sine s cos x also so we're having 2 sine x cos x this is how i got that thank you now we'll implement this into the above expression are we having the limb of x tends to pi over 2 cos x minus instead of writing sine 2x i'll write 2 sine s cos x all divided by cos x plus 2 sine s cos x now, if you look at this, you have to factorize because we have something in common in both sides of the negative sign. We have cos x in the left side and we have cos x in the right side, right? So if I should bring cos x out, I'll be left with what? 1 minus 2 sin x, right? So if I implement this, I'll be having the lean of x tends to pi over 2 cos x into bracket 1 minus 2 sin x all divided by cos x into bracket 1 plus 2 sin x now i know you might be surprised that how did i get cos x into bracket 1 minus 2 sin x now let me take you down the mirror lane again now if i have cos x minus 2 sin x cos x if you look at the left side of the negative sign you have only cos x and if you look at the right side of the negative sign, you have also cos x. Now, if I bring cos x out, it means that I'm going to divide both sides by what? By cos x. Now, cos x will cancel cos x. It will remain 1 minus cos x and cos x remaining what? 2 sin x. That is why I'm having my what? My 1 minus 2 sin x. The same thing applied to the word denominator. Now, if you look at your expression there, cos x is going to equate cos, cos x. We'll be left with what? The limb of x tends to pi over 2, 1 minus 2 sine x, all over 1 plus 2 sine x. Now, 1 minus, now you implement your pi over 2, your x tends to pi over 2 into the above expression. We're having 1 minus 2 sine pi over 2, all divided by 1 plus 2 sine pi over 2. Now, you see, you're having pi over 2 because it is in your work in radian, right? So if you convert your calculator and move it from degree and place it in radian, if you press sin pi over 2, you are going to be having 1, right? But if you are wondering how come you want to do it in manual way, you should know that in rad, pi is 180. And 180 divided by 2 is what? Is 90, right? So sin 90 is 1. So depending on you. So we now have 1 minus 2 sin into bracket, 1 minus 2 into bracket 1, all divided by 1 plus 2 into bracket 1 because sine pi over 2 is 1, right? So if you do that, 2 times 1 is 2, and we're having 1 minus 2 all over 1 plus 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1, all over 1 plus 2 is what is 3. So therefore, we can say that the limb of x tends to pi over 2 cos x minus sine 2x all divided by cos x plus sine 2x is equals to negative. 1 over 3. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also like the video and also don't forget to 
click on the notification bell so that you always have updates whenever I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.